physically, spiritually, mentally, in all aspects of our life. And uh, praise to be God, you know, if anything I say wrong is due to my own shortcomings, you know, God is perfect in his teaching knowledge that he's passed on to mankind. So the first term we'll, we'll delve into is Islam. You know, basically Islam, that's a religion that Muslims follow, it means peace and tranquility through submitting to God's will. It's not peace through what my will tells me, you know. If I am violating God's will and makes me happy, that's not true inner peace. And so that's what true peace one attains through doing that. Because then you're in balance, you're in a humble nature between yourself, your family, your community, your neighbors, your environment, no matter where you go. Because you're living in that, in that environment and doing this. Number two is Muslim. Muslim is just refers to an individual who follows who submits his will to God. So anybody who's following and submitting their will to God, living by God's ordainments, basically is for to a And you'll hear the word Allah when I say Allah is the word for God in Arabic. So if you open a Quran or a Bible in Arabic, and when you see the word God, you'll see Allah in Arabic language, okay? But the, the uniqueness to the word Allah is that it says, it's just one verse of one God. It's a singular, there's no plural to it. You know, as we say God and gods, it's just, when you say Allah, it's referring to the one God who created it. So, uh, so, so to go from there, to talk about uh, 